This comment here confuses me, you know, and I don't know if the person who left this comment realises, like, this is going to be bad advice for someone who's young and they don't know whether they should stay at home and save or move out or whatever, innit? So, I moved out at 16. If I could have stayed home, I would. It makes no sense to spend money on a property if you can live home for a fraction of the price. Let me just explain something right now, yeah? When I say for people to stay at home and save money, it's not forever, yeah? And it's not like, oh, we're just going to stay at home and just save money and that because it's cheaper to stay with your parents and that. No. And to stay at home and save money, not forever, I don't know, maybe move out at age 28 to 32 or something like that, but you're not going to be staying at home, at home forever and you're not just going to be there just, oh, because it's easier and cheaper to live. Now. Nah. My advice to anyone watching this right now, if you have a decent situation with your parents, you get along with them, stay at home for as long as possible. Don't even bother buy your own home, buy rental properties, yeah, rent them out. And then let's say once you've got two or three and that, then maybe go out of your way to go and buy your own home. Yeah. But first and foremost, we're not just living at home on the cheap, and we're not saving no money because there's people right now I've met tenants but I remember there was one you um, I'm at the front door and it's one of those sorts of yards where people park up at the back of the house and just walk through the back gate to enter the yard rather than go around the front because at the back of the yard there's a car park I heard this boy's car pull up I don't know what car he's got but it had a loud exhaust pipe and that so anyway um, as the car was pulling up, the woman was like, oh, my son's back, I can hear his car, and I was like, whatever. Any. So anyway, I don't know what he was talking about in the kitchen, but the mum must have said something. He said, yeah, well, that's the beauty of living at home with your parents and not having to pay any bills. You get to drive that car. Now, I don't know what that car was, but I was thinking to myself, as I was standing by the front door, I was thinking, you think you're winning, but you're actually losing, you fucking idiot. You think, yeah, you're achieving something by living at home for free, not paying any bills, not contributing, and driving a nice car. Yeah, but where are you going to be in 20 years' time with that mentality? Do you know where he, someone like that's going to be in 20 years' time with that mentality? They ain't going to have no property. I went to this tenant's house today. Big people, yeah? Like my mum's age, he's probably older and that. They better be the way they looked all old and dusty and that. So I'd say mid-50s. Upstairs... And the woman said to me, ah, so are you renting? And I said, nah, I've got my own house. I bought it a few years ago. She said, oh, well, that, that, that's good. I speak to myself, God forbid I told her that in total I've got four properties and that. She would have had a fucking heart attack and fell down them stairs there, innit? And I think to myself, you and your husband are 50 years old apiece. There is more than 100 years of human life between the two of you. And you lot couldn't even buy a property or two or three. And this little kid, yeah, I'm not a child. What I'm saying is I'm a kid to them. Because the woman said that her son is 29. So he's basically my age. Yeah, I'm 31. How can one, when we're comparing ages now, how can one kid yeah, outdo them three, four times, blood? They're on a joke thing. I don't know what their situation was. More likely... With them people there, because they're like my mum's age and that, a lot of them did move out at 16, like this person here. I think his name's Micah. A lot of people from my mum's generation, that they did move out at 16, 17, 18. That was normal. Like, if you was 25, 30 living at home, they, you'd be seen like a bum. It's the equivalent of like a 40-year-old man still living at his mum's yard right now. So, um, yeah, any of you young people watching this right now, yeah, don't think yeah, that you're just going to stay at home and live at home with your parents and not contribute, but just spend your money. No, if you live at home with your parents and you've got a good situation with your parents and that, you need to save your money and start buying properties. Yeah? Don't just be living there for free. And even if you are saving and that, yeah, you need to start making investments and that. your money needs to start working for you. Yeah? So I don't want no one getting confused when they see a, a comment like this and that. You're a young person right now. You're living at home with your parents. You've got a good situation. Stay at home as long as possible. Not till you're 52. Yeah, let's not get this thing twisted, yeah? But 
stay at home as long as possible. Yeah, utilize the situation that you're in. Save as much money as possible. I would say if you, like I said, you've got a good situation with your parents, buy rental properties and that. But if you truly desire to move out of your parents' house and that, fine, go and buy your own house and that. But the problem with that is when you move out of your parents' house, now you've got gas, now you've got water, now you've got electric, yeah, now you've got council tax, yeah, all these you've got all these expenses that you don't need to have if you bought a rental property. See, if you buy a rental property and that, unless you're renting rooms and that, you're not going to have those expenses and that because if you buy a rental property and Jane and John rent out that property, they have to take on the gas, they have to take on the water, they have to take on the electric, they have to take on the council tax. Yeah? Obviously, if you're renting a room, uh, if you're renting rooms, so you have a flat or a house, you're renting out rooms and that, then yeah, you are, you are in charge of council tax, gas, water, electric and that. Obviously, but you're you're gonna make more money from renting out rooms and yeah. My advice to anyone, if you've got a good situation with your um with your parents and that, just buy rental properties. Buy rental properties and let's say something mad happens with your parents and you need to leave, like they're giving you six months to leave. Potentially you could hit up the um mortgage lender and say, Listen, I want to live in this property that I bought as a rental property. So at the moment I've got this property as a rental property. Can I change the terms, conditions of the mortgage so that I can live there and that? Because if you buy a, a house that you live in and you want to get consent to let, the lenders will allow you to do it. So I'm going to just verify with my girl afterwards and that. But um, yeah, you should be able to... Um, the rental property, you should be able to um, live in there. So we'll, we'll see, innit? I'm, I'm going to verify that with my girl.